So on this one, you can actually probably try and see what happens. Um, this is a good exercise because uh, if you try before you actually see it, you, you, it's like forcing you to figure out what to do. Um, and I think you could. I, I don't even think you need this example, but um, I'm always wrong about everything. So let's see. Uh, well, maybe you can pause it and do it on your own, but I'm going to do it right now. You, in this case, I'm thinking ahead. Uh, if I take the derivative of this, I get some x value. I don't get the 12, but I get some x value, so the x's will cancel out. And that's my main concern. I want everything to be in terms of u, so I want all of my x's to cancel out. If I don't have all my x's canceling out, then I can't do the integral because I have two different variables. So uh, u will be 2x squared minus 1 du is 4x dx. I solve for dx all in my head. 1 over 4x du. You just take the reciprocal of it. Then I have the integral 12x times u to the fourth. Uh, and then substitute my dx. Uh, that's times 1 fourth x du. That's nice. The x's cancel. And the 12 changes to a 3, right? 12 divided by 4 is 3. So then we have that. And I'm going to go ahead and move the 3 out in front of the integral. And then I just have u to the 4th du. Everything else canceled, except for that 3. That's the only thing that's different in this problem. Now I have a 3 outside. doesn't matter. u to the 5th over 5 times the 3 plus c. But that is equal to 3 fifths times 2x squared minus 1 uh, raised to the fifth plus c. And that's all she wrote. I wrote it. I, I wrote it. Hopefully you got that one. Really the only thing that's different is the, uh, the coefficient doesn't all, um, all the way cancel out. But that's fine. doesn't matter. Uh, if we took the derivative of this, we'd get back to there. So that's pretty sweet. This is just a procedural method to just get, you know, make sure we're getting the antiderivative correct. That's all it is. That's all it is. We're accounting for the chain rule. That's what u substitution does. All right, let's let's think of a little bit more difficult ex uh, example. So in this example, we're going to see something a tiny bit more complicated. It's just some more problem solving. Um, I don't know if you'd be able to recognize this, at least not in, you know, like, you know, two seconds or 30 seconds. Maybe. Maybe maybe you can. I don't know. Um, so what we're going to do here is make a U substitution, but everything's not going to cancel out like we want. But we'll figure out a way um, past that. So, first thing, maybe in your head, think of what U would be. Uh, ooh, look at this. If I take the derivative... I don't get rid of that x, right? The derivative of 4x plus 3 is 4. I get rid of the 4, but not the x. Some people don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Uh, but you'll see. Watch. u, I'm going to choose my u to be the inside. 4x plus 3. That's nice. du equals 4dx. I'm going to use the differential. And then I just solve for dx. So that's 1 fourth du. All right, now watch what happens. I have u raised to the third, u to the third, times this 4x out here. What is that? It's crazy. Uh, and then times dx. Well, dx is just 1 fourth du. Okay, so that cancels. So I get u cubed times x du. What the heck? I can't have this x in there. I can't have u's and x's. I need to figure out what the heck to do. So, when you get stuck like this, when you have a mixture, um, you go back to your u equation. Watch this. This is what, what does it say to do? Solve for x in terms of u. And so, what does that mean? That means get x by itself. So here, uh, if I have u equaling 4x plus 3, I'm going to subtract 3. I'm solving for x in terms of u. So I get u minus 3 equals 4 times x, divide by 4. And x equals u minus 3 over 4. All right, so that's what I'm going to put in for x there. 
So I have the integral u to the third times uh, x is just u minus 3 over 4. u minus 3 all over 4. That's amazing! What? This is still pretty complicated. Why would you? Where, what is happening? Well, I'm going to distribute, right? This is like over 1. So I can just put the whole thing uh, under f uh, over 4. And then I get u cubed times u minus 3 du. I'm doing extra writing. You don't have to write all this. But now I distribute. That's u to the 4th minus 3 u to the 3rd. And instead of dividing by 4, I'm going to move the 4 out front. So it's a 1 fourth. And du. Now I can take the uh, antiderivative. That's just u to the 5th over 5. Um, minus u to the fourth over four, tack on that three, does that work? Yes, it does. And then I have times one fourth, and then a plus c. Well, that was nice. Now I just substitute my u value back in, which is 4x plus three. So this is one fourth times 4x plus three, quantity to the fifth, divided by five, this is nasty, minus, oh no, minus 3 times the quantity 4x plus 3 uh, to the fourth over 4. Oh my goodness. Close those parentheses. Plus C. You could simplify, or you could also just leave it like that. I'm going to be done with this video. Um, yeah, that's solving for x in terms of u. That's, that's hopefully not too bad.